Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business and today, once again, we're going to delve into the QuickBooks Point of Sale Inventory Scanner, which is primarily intended to count your inventory at the end of the year, or maybe a few times a year if you're one of those uh, very, very organized people. But anyways, you want to get your inventory quantities up to date so that your asset values are correct for your taxes, you know, you got those taxes coming up. So today, in this video, we're actually gonna walk through exactly how to use your QuickBooks point of sale inventory scanner. I should probably grab something with a barcode over here so we can scan something. I got some Trident gum right here, yep. Um, so here we are, we have the inventory scanner. We've got it all ready to go. We've got it installed on the computer probably as well. Before we jump into this, I'm going to have you click on the link down in the description below. There's going to be a couple links down there. You can either go to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group, join up there so you can ask any question you like or request a video. People such as myself and other community members would be happy to answer your questions. And there will be another link down there if you actually want to get your hands on one of these inventory scanners because a lot of people want them and they do sell out kind of fast at the end of the year. Uh, otherwise. Let's do it. All right, so we've got three options here, collect, upload, and utilities. During the operation of using this scanner, you are actually only going to be using the first two. So uh, collect is what you're gonna use to actually scan your inventory, and upload is what you're going to use to get it into the QuickBooks point of sale. So you can use the up and down arrows to go around on the menu and you're going to use the blue button on the right to select your menu selection. So if I choose collect and it says item now, it is waiting for me to scan something. So let me bring over my trident here. Uh, this one, I don't know how this got ripped, but I'm going to be using the big orange button and then you'll see the red laser come out. So if I hold down the orange button, you can see the red laser and I'll just scan that barcode. It will right away tell you the barcode numbers and automatically right away it is on quantity one. So if I only have one of these, it's already automatically filled in and I can just hit the blue button and I, that would enter one quantity. Uh, what else do I have around here? I've got a GoPro box. Let's see, for one of my GoPros. And I may or may not be able to get the barcode on this because it's kind of covered up. So I'm going to use the orange one again. There we go. That worked just fine. So now I've got the uh, barcode for the GoPro. And for quantity down here, I can actually, if I got three of these sitting on the shelf, I can just hit three. And then I can hit the blue button to go on to the next scan. You just do that over and over and over again. So it's going to be over and over. You're going to hit orange button to scan and then type in the quantity number if it's not one and then the blue button to go to the next one over and over and over again. And if once you get really good at it and get going really fast, you'll have your store done in no time. And uh, once you're done scanning everything, you are going to hit escape and then we're going to arrow down to upload. I'm going to hit the blue button for upload it says connecting and that is the point at which I would put it into the cradle and choose the selections on the QuickBooks point of sale screen in order to upload my inventory there you have it that's the operation of the scanner and how you're going to do it when you do your store inventory towards the end of the year usually my name is Peter with BlackRock Business thanks for coming along on this little journey in using the scanner for QuickBooks point of sale. You have yourself an excellent day. Bye-bye.